Hello there, World of Tankers, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Adrodos Blitz, and in today's video, I'll be breaking into how to get the Super Hellcat for absolutely free just by winning battles in World of Tanks Blitz as part of the new Carnival Blitz event. So, we can see here there's a couple stages. We start off with a pretty lame one, just a couple XP boosters. Then we make our way to some more crew XP boosters, and then some free XP boosters. Okay, not too bad. The 10 times 5 boosters is absolutely massive, though, I will say that absolutely huge if you're trying to grind crew xp or if you're trying to grind a new line and you don't want to suffer with a vehicle stock that is going to be absolutely massive so make sure to use those times five boosters in mad games that's huge then we get cooldown boosters once again nobody cares and then we finish off with the super hellcat it's a pretty short event overall only six stages in total and it's going to take you 300 of the little masks to get the event in total now 300 masks and on average you're getting five of these little masks per win so 300 divided by five means in total you need to win 60 battles to get your hands on the super hellcat i should also point out that every day you get six tickets we can see them at the top of my screen there each ticket is going to give you two more masks per win it's not that many more but it is going to give you like i don't know 14 more masks every day for the five days the event is running so it's not that bad it's not that important but i thought i would break into it. Overall, the Super Hellcat is nothing spectacular. It's a decent vehicle. It's got mobility. It's got 225 damage per shot, and yeah, there really isn't much that there is special about the Super Hellcat, but it is a premium, and it's a fun premium at that, so I will definitely be getting my hands on the vehicle in this event. All right, well, that was a fairly easy victory, 3,500 damage on Molendike, and as we can see, I made seven masks, and it took away one of my tickets. So, you're going to get seven masks with the tickets, and only five without. Honestly, it's not that much of a buff with the tickets to begin with, so I just grind this event out in one day or two days if you're wanting to. But, I'm going to go swap to my other account, which isn't free to play, so I can actually showcase the Super Hellcat and how it plays if you wanted to get it. So we've gone over how to get the Super Hellcat, now we're going to move on to if you should get the Super Hellcat. Now this is a pretty fun vehicle. I wouldn't say there's anything spectacular about it, but it is a fun tank to drive and mess around with. It's got a pretty good rate of fire, it's got great mobility, and a pretty decent camouflage value, allowing it to constantly reposition and just penetrate its opponents over and over. If you wanted to get this vehicle, it would take you about 15 wins on average every day, which is not honestly that many. It's like maybe an hour of time a day playing for this vehicle. So if you have an hour a day, you don't even really need to try and get this tank. All you need to do is win 15 battles a day, which is not really that hard to be honest. So yeah, it shouldn't be that bad. Now, obviously, depending on your skill level, it could take 30 games. If you're averaging 50% win rate, it's going to take double, but it still isn't that bad of a grind to get your hands on this vehicle. Overall, I'm definitely going to be getting this on my free-to-play account because the Super Hellcat's just a fun vehicle and it's always nice to add another free premium into my garage. So here we are, first battle, and up against us, we do have an enemy Super Hellcat and my green screen is bugging out once again. I don't know why it does that. Whenever, it's like when I move this way, it bugs out, but if I sit right here, it's fine. I don't know. I do not understand how that makes sense. It must be because the lighting's over here, but oh well. We are going to make our way over towards medium side because this is not the kind of tank you want to drive towards heavy side. It obviously has zero armor. I didn't really say that, but I think the hull is 14 millimeters thick, so the chances of you bouncing anything in this vehicle are basically getting hit in the track or hitting in the gun. Apart from that, good luck. When it comes to the enemy lineup, apart from a Super Hellcat, the only mobility they have is an EZ-8, which means I shouldn't have to worry too much about anything really going over towards this side. I got my Cromwell over here, which is nice. At least I've got some support, and it looks like their entire team is going off towards the other side. Okay. Well, I'm going to use that good mobility. We can see here the tank very quickly accelerating up to its top speed of 60 well 65 but we're not getting up to 65 on this terrain let's just keep on going over here and make our way behind the helsing hello a bonk never mind the helsing taps me twice but we can see the reload is so dang fast on this vehicle i can just get another easy slap into his tank so we did lose a bit of health for shooting that helsing but we made it back quite quickly and well the kv2 and helsing are now dead having a reload this fast allows you to always be aggressive even though it's not really an aggressive tank we got the easy eight 
and my Cromwell almost, almost lost me 160 hit points there, but we're all good, and we didn't lose any. Okay, well, the Annihilator's off to the side, and obviously the Annihilator is a very, very scary tank. Hopefully he goes for my Thunder, which he does, which allows me to get, uh, well, let's see, one easy shell into his vehicle. I don't want to get rammed by his vehicle, because that's what's possibly going to kill me. Uh, the Annihilator, on average, though, should not kill me with this clip, because he deals, what, 220 damage a shot? So, yes, I was correct. And that means now I can just keep on farming his vehicle over and over and over. My Hellcat's going to help me out. There's another easy shell in. And as long as my Hellcat pens this, I should be able to finish off, there you go, the enemy Annihilator. Okay, not a bad decision at all. Let's go for... Well, I don't think we're going to win this, just looking at this lineup. This obviously looks like a pretty dang fast loss, especially judging that I cannot pen that Panther anywhere. There you go. Oh, wow, okay. Well, unfortunately, yeah, we're, we're not going to win this at any time. Um, the VK is probably going to finish me off right here. Yeah. So, unfortunately, our team fell apart fairly quickly. But even with that, we did 2,600 damage. And you can very easily see where the Super Hellcat is a really fun vehicle to play. Using that mobility, using that crazy high rate of fire, I was able to push. I was able to clear literally one of the deadliest tanks in Tier 7, the Annihilator. And then I was able to continue pushing and just absolutely wreck havoc on their team. Unfortunately, it seems like my heavies just fell apart. And wow, yes, they did. The next highest on my team was an 800 damage mark so uh yeah it made sense why this team fell apart so dang quickly but we did pretty good so i can't complain all too much let's do one more battle and maybe we'll get a win out this time but i guess there's only one way to find out i really like this vehicle though i don't think it's anything special but it's definitely a take you can have a lot of fun in if you understand how to play correctly and I should also add that this is not a very beginner-friendly vehicle. If you don't understand how to play a tank like this, it's nothing wrong with that, but I would definitely suggest to play it passive at the beginning, stay at the back, and then once you see what's going on with the battle, that's when you can use your mobility and kind of flank like a light with this tank. So, I'm going to be making my way to my favorite spot on Dead Rail for a Tank Destroyer, and most likely everybody's favorite spot, the Overlook over A. This spot is great to just farm any unsuspecting guest that will drive out of A corner. You know what I don't understand? I don't get why people still drive around A nowadays. Like, how long has this game been up? Eight years now? And people still expose themselves to that same position? Now, even though we do not have enough AP pen to cut through the ARL, we do have plenty of APCR pen to butter right through him. Although the ARL managed to literally blind fire us the first shot. Big L for me. Unfortunately, we also managed to bounce the side of the IS, which is a bit unfortunate. But there you go. Easy pen into the agent for 200. We're getting some slaps here and there. If that agent pokes again, he's going to be shot again. But doesn't look like he wants to poke all too much as... Yeah, he's dead. Okay, well, there's the ARL off to the side. Fire! Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Nice 200 slap into his vehicle. And I don't think the ARL's enjoying life all too much. Our Tiger is rushing in. Let's see if we can get a... Well, I was going to say a pendant to that Super Hellcat, but it looks like it missed by just an inch. Come on, Super Hellcat, back up. Hwa! Yes, thank you. One easy shell into his vehicle, and two easy shells into his vehicle. That's a pretty easy chunk of damage right there, and that just showcases once again where the Super Hellcat feels so darn good. You can see this gun just ripping into the enemy team. That IS now only has 42 hit points. If that Super Hellcat backs up like he does, boom, nice clear onto his vehicle. And with that, I mean, just a very, very easy game. Look at that. Incredibly good shot across the map into that ARL V39. Okay, that one was not as good. The .326 dispersion on this vehicle is not great, I should point out. So that was just luck that ended up hitting that ARL. But I think this tank is great. I really do. It's nothing special, but it's a very fun tank to play. Its DPM is fantastic. Its rate of fire is great. And the fact that you have so much mobility, I mean, look at this. We are speeding across the map. Allows you at these late game scenarios to possibly get in there and farm a little bit of damage you normally would not have been able to do in a slower vehicle. Now, I'm not exactly sure if that's going to be the case this game, because that Hellcat looks like he is going full speed ahead into death. But... 
Actually, we might be able to. We are, yeah, we're going to easily get some more damage out in this game. Well, there's the uh, Super Hellcat. One easy shell into his tank. He manages to clear my teammate, but now I've got his rear. Let's track him with a nice HE and then ram him so he stays tracked. Pen him in the little side of the turret there. Well, maybe not. i got to be honest. The Super Hellcat's got more HE resistance than I thought, but, well, it doesn't look like it had enough as we pen him right in the lower plate with an HE for 280. There you go, ladies and gents. A pretty good battle overall. A very easy victory at that. We were able to deal 2,800 damage in a tier 7 battle, and uh, that's the Super Hellcat for you. Very fun vehicle. I would definitely suggest to get your hands on the tank if you can, but at the end of the day, it's always down to your decision. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this tank. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.